Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. Um, I hope you're also excited for the holidays. We are only a few days away from Christmas, um, especially if you celebrate Christmas. Um, otherwise, you know, happy holidays for whatever holiday you are celebrating this winter season, even if it is just the winter solstice. Um, that is why I'm wearing my Ba Humbug t-shirt today. Um, one of my old coworkers, she gave me this for Christmas a couple of years back. Um, but you guys know I have a pug. He's usually wandering around sometimes during my readings. So um, I just felt drawn to put on this shirt today to be a little bit festive um, and just, you know, have more excitement around the holiday coming up. So I think we are going shuffling. Let's go ahead and tap in. Let us see what is going on with the collective today. Ooh, a lot of cards came out. So first off, I just wanted to say I've been seeing the number 1010 a lot. Um, if you personally have been seeing the number 1010 a lot, um, that may just be an indicator that something in this reading today is for you. 1010 to me is always about spiritual awakening, um, a tower moment of some sort, um, some big change or big disruption that occurs in your life that causes this new period of transformation a new period of awakening so definitely just keep that in mind during this reading so first card out was judgment and i can't make this up up at the top here we have 10 10 um so there's just further confirmation some of you are going through a transformation right now going through a period of judgment going through a period of awakening and seeing things for what they actually are <clears throat> with the Knight of Pentacles, I think you guys have been learning to invest in the right people and the right projects and, you know, through choosing the wrong people, the wrong projects, the wrong job, the wrong commitments, that is what has caused this awakening, this period of judgment, and you realize that you've made a bad decision. With the Four of Swords here, you are now trying to rest and recuperate and learn from this mistake because this is a huge tower moment in your life right now, um, causing a lot of big changes, causing a lot of things that you need to reconcile with and figure out how are you going to move on from this point and learn from what has happened. With the Six of Cups here, I think you are going inside, you're introspecting and trying to figure out what has occurred in your past that has been repeating. How can you do what you need to in order to heal those parts of you in order to have your life feel complete again? Let's get one more card and then we'll go to the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we got two cards. So first off, we have a Queen of Cups in reverse. So I think someone has pulled their love away from you and that is really what's caused this tower moment someone who you thought really genuinely cared about you and would always be there for you um and this has just made you completely sad with the sun in reverse here i think this queen of cups was your happiness and the fact that she went really cold betrayed you maybe um you didn't see this coming um there were no red flags in your opinion um, so that's why you're so focused on, you know, reflecting and trying to find what it was about the situation that you couldn't have trusted, um, what should you have seen, because there was obviously things going on that you didn't know about. With the King of Pentacles here, I think this may be you, this may be your Divine Masculine, just wanting to invest, like, properly know um that the choices that are making are going to be worthwhile in the end with the hermit here similar to the four of swords energy you've definitely retreated into your hermit mode in order to self-reflect and learn from this situation with the king of wands here you know you don't want to be impulsive anymore you don't want to fall for the wrong people or make decisions that are going to cause people who you genuinely do love and care about to turn their back on you with the hanged one here, you're definitely feeling stuck, definitely unsure of how you got here and what you can do to move forward. With the two of swords, you're struggling with making a choice. Um, it may be just struggling with, you know, changing your fates, changing what actually ended up happening and, you know, going after your true love. Um, with the lovers here, I think 
you do want love and happiness to be in your life, but now you're stuck because you don't know how to get it. The Knight of Wands here, I think you're finally recognizing that you've been moving too fast through life, being too impulsive. With the Queen of Pentacles here, you want to be stable. You want to be wise about your choices. Again, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. To me, these are counterparts. These are, you know, husband and wife type of vibes, power couple vibes. Um, people who are making the right decisions and together they can truly be prosperous in a relationship. With the Five of Pentacles here, I think this tower moment, this situation has definitely left you feeling left out in the cold and you still really want that Ten of Cups. You thought that, you know, it was going to be there for you. You've had a lot of good luck on your side and good things were on the up and up. So you were really blindsided by what happened. So your heart is broken right now with the Three of Swords. Um, but good news is we have an Ace of Cups here. Um, a new beginning in love is coming. Um, I can't say that it is with the person that you are hoping it's going to be. But um, under that, we have the Queen of Wands. This is about you stepping into your divine feminine energy, stepping into what you truly want and trusting your own intuition and manifesting happiness for yourself on your own terms. With the five of cups here, you know, this is, you know, stop being nostalgic, stop crying over spilled milk and stop crying over people who have hurt you in the past. With the six of swords, it is time to swim away to calmer waters, release your emotional baggage. With the five of swords, you know, you can't stay stuck in this mindset of looking back and reflecting on the past hurt in order to get your four of swords you need to let all of that go and truly commit into this new love that is coming towards you so that is super exciting um i think i want to just pull some spiritual guidance messages so that's going to be my work your light oracle deck so i just want to know what does my collective need to focus on in order to have this new and happy prosperous love that is coming towards them even if it is not someone from their past that they want it to be with, even if this is a brand new relationship, what do they need to focus on personally in order to have their next relationship that they get into be really prosperous as well as long lasting? Please let us know. All right. So we got two. First, we have soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So this is about finding who your soul family is, who is your tribe, who can you truly trust, and who can you rely on to vent about what happened in this situation, and allow you to really embrace the learning lessons that you need to in order to not make the same mistakes again. When you know, you're entering into a new relationship, sure, you should, of course, rely on your own discernment, but especially if they are people who are personally in long lasting and happy relationships, you know, don't rely on your other single friends, rely on the people who truly love and care about you. Uh, maybe your parents, maybe your older siblings, people who have long and actual successful love lives, um, rely on them to actually give you good guidance and what you should feel when entering a new relationship and one that is based on stability and trust and honesty. And lastly, we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the lights, laying foundations, divine plan. So this is just a reminder for you to trust in divine timing. You know, we go through a lot of breakups and heartbreaks in order to find the person that we're meant to in order to learn those good lessons so that when we finally meet the person that we're supposed to spend the rest of our life with, we've learned so much that we don't make the same mistakes that we've made with other people. We know that we want to put our all into this new relationship in order for it to be long lasting and in order to have our happily ever after that we've been seeking out. So that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That's the best way to energetically donate to our channel as well as get our videos out to more and more viewers. If anything resonated and you are brand new, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you know uh, when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.